For making DOL starter, what we do is contactor here, we use ano contact of this contactor to hold this contactor. Like here you can see ano contact of this contactor here, on these two contact, I connected two wires to hold this contactor. If I press start push button now, contactor is turned on. And on pressing stop push button, contactor is turned off. So in this starter I made, ano contact of this starter here, if I do not use this ano contact, then my contactor won't hold. But still there is a way to hold this contactor. Like wire connected on ano contact, I am removing this wire. I removed a wire from this point and from this ano contact also I am removing a wire. It means this ano contact circuit is now fully open. Now I am not using any ano contact. Now here if I press start push button, you can see still my contactor is in on condition. And when I press stop push button, contactor is turned off. So how to hold contactor without using ano contact? This is what we are going to learn through this video. So friends, let's start the video. Whenever you make dual starter by using contactor, then there what you have to do, this phase supply here, first connect this phase supply with overload relay. After that provide power supply to stop push button. But as I told you, in this contactor, there is ano contact and we are not going to use this for holding contactor. So in this condition, what we have to do, this phase supply here, first of all connect this phase supply with start push button. To provide incoming power supply to this push button, what we will do, power terminals of this contactor, that is L1, L2, L3, we will use any one terminal among these. For now I am using L3 terminal. So take this wire and connect with L3 terminal. After this, what you have to do, output wire of this push button here, take this wire and in this overload relay with NC contact, connect this wire. For now I connected this wire with 96 number terminal. So as per diagram, we have to provide power supply first to overload relay, after that to stop push button. But we provided power supply first of all to start push button. And from here, we provided power supply to NC contact of overload relay. Now from output terminal of NC contact, connect a wire and provide input power supply to stop push button. So I connected this wire with 95 number terminal. Now from this stop push button, output power supply which goes, take this supply and in this contactor there is coil. With A1 terminal of this coil, like here you can see A1 is written. So with this terminal, connect this wire. Now what I will do, I am pressing this start push button, you can see contactor turned on. But on releasing this, contactor turned off. So right now we can't hold this contactor. Our main focus was how to hold this contactor without using ano contact. So here what we will do in this contactor, L1, L2, L3, these terminals are there on which we connect R, Y, B, all three phase power supply. Now we will use these terminals to hold this contactor. Here what you have to do. Phase supply you used for controlling, in this you have to see which phase you used for controlling. Like here, I used L3 terminal for controlling. So what you have to do, output terminal of L3, this overload relay we have in this T3 terminal is there. On this terminal, we will get power supply of L3. That is, power supply which we connected here, we will get output of this here. So on this terminal only, we will connect one wire. Take other end of this wire and from this start push button, wire which is coming with this wire, connect this wire. It means wire connected with output of start push button with this wire, connect this wire. When connecting this wire, keep one thing in your mind, phase supply you used here for controlling, with output of this phase supply only, you have to connect this wire. If by mistake you connect with another phase supply, then short circuit will happen. So you have to be careful when performing connections. If you connect this wire, then your holding circuit will be completed. Let us see practically how it works. I connected this lamp with contactor. Now first of all, what I will do, I am pressing this start push button. After pressing, if you even release the button, you can see contactor is still on. Lamp is also glowing. On pressing stop push button, contactor turn off. It means our dual starter is properly working. So today in this video, you learn by using power terminals of contactor, we can hold this contactor. Friends, if you want to learn control wiring of inching and non-inching type DOL starter, then click on the right hand side video to watch.
फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड कॉमेंट ऑन दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल येट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो